Wait for it. I'm ready. Here we go. Rational inequalities. Oh no! What are you gonna do? The game plan for rational inequalities. Here we see we got the game plan. We first want to set it unequal to zero. Back that math up. Then we need one term. Oh, one term. We get the zeros of the numerator and the denominator. When you watch the videos, you'll understand what that D is. Uh-huh. And then we're going to test the intervals in between the critical value. So critical, we choose the appropriate in interval notation. Now that we got that game plan, oh boy, we got them all on one side. All right, check. Now, let's get one fraction. So, we're going to take that guy, that x plus 6 divided by uh, x minus 4, and then that guy, that x minus 6 divided by an x plus 4. And we gotta get a common denominator. What would a common denominator of all the denominators be if I had one? That's x minus 4. And x plus 4. Sure. So now what? I gotta multiply this side, top and bottom, by an x plus 4 and x plus 4 because we explore what a common denominator means to me. It means to me that they're going to be the same. Oh boy! So on this one, look like I'm going to multiply by an x minus 4 and an x minus 4, sure. Now that we're multiplying those guys by that common denominator, we can write those x plus 4. Uh-huh. All right. Gonna have to get a new yellow. And then an x plus six, okay. And then that's minus, that x minus six. And then that's times an x minus four. Sure, Jackson, stop it. Don't chew the wires. Okay, and then that's all the fair. Our common denominator, x plus four times x minus four. Sure, now what? First, inner, outer, last. We're gonna foil. Ha ha, foiled again. And then this guy. Whoa, whoa there. Um, bam. That's an x squared. And then that's a 6x and a 4x, making a 10x. I stepped a skip. You can check it on your own. Pause it right here. Check it. All right. And then that's plus 24. And then that's going to be minus. Now, it's going to be minus this whole quantity. Jackson, that's live. You're going to shock yourself. Quit it. So this is, a uh, yeah, bam, x squared. And then that's a, wait for it, minus 4x, minus 6x. That's a minus 10x. Then minus and minus make plus uh, 6 times 4 is 24. On a good day, what would Jack Bauer do? Now, what do we do? Close that up, put it all over the common denominator. Mmm, the common denominator. Jackson, stop it. Okay, that's, uh, leave it alone. X plus 4 times X minus 4. Sure. <sighs> ah. See what I have to deal with? Okay, I'm moving on. Um, I distribute that in. Yeah, try not to get distracted. And what? You have an X, that should be blue. You back here? Mm-hmm. So then that's an X squared plus a 10X plus a 24. And then that's gonna be a minus x squared plus 10x minus 24, sure. Jackson, Jax, stop it. Divided by that common denominator, x plus 4 and x minus 4. Sure, now things are going to cancel out. Oh, boy. Looks like ah, x squared's gone and, ah, no, they double. And, ah, 24 is gone and, excuse me, coming over here. He's down there. Okay, I'm going to take it to the top. Right on up here. 
in here. Are you comfortable? Okay. Look like I'm gonna have 20x and divided by my common denominator. That's x plus 4 times x minus 4. Now, what was all this for? This needed to be less than or equal to 0. Uh, less than or equal to 0. Less than or equal to 0. Less than or equal to 0. This is still less than or equal to 0. So, we gotta go. Oh, hey there. Uh -oh. Let me, uh, step over this freaking cat. Okay, so, now, that's 20x is equal to... 20x is equal to 0, or x plus 4 is equal to 0. Now, that x plus 4 is in the denominator, so I'm just going to give it that d. Because it's in the denominator, it's going to become important in the solution. So now, that's that x minus 4, that's equal to 0, and it also gets the d because it's in the denominator. Now, we go and we solve all of those, and this goes x is equal to 0, because 0 divided by 20 is 0. Then, that's an x is equal to a minus 4, sure. Ah, still got that d. And then, x is equal to 4, still got that d. Now, what do we do? We go and we put those on a number line. Oh, boy. So then, that's a, a minus 4. And then, that's a, a 0. And then, that's a, that's a, that's a... Four. What is this? Those are those critical values in your rational expression that we are going to test to see whether or not our function's above the line or below the line. What are we looking for? Get out of there, Jackson. We're looking to see where our function is below, 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 below zero. So what? Really? Okay, so we're looking to see where it's below the line. He's going to be locked out the next video. All right, what are we testing it in? We are testing it in this guy. So we're testing it in. For the sake of room, I'm going to go, I'm going to put it right here. That's 20x divided by x plus 4. Uh-huh. X minus 4. Sure. Now I'm plugging it in there. So I'm over here. I pick a number to the left of minus 4. How about minus 10? Then, if I have a, a minus 10, whoa, that's a, a, a minus in the numerator. What I've, I'm, can you see that? Ooh, that's poor planning. This is just going so great. I'm testing it in 20x divided by x plus 4 and x minus 4. When I put a minus 10 in here, that's minus 200. It's still negative. Don't matter. So then I put a minus 10 in here, and it's a minus 6. So that's minus, and then that's a minus uh, 14. So all together now... Minus and minus and minus make minus right there. Now, we check a number in here. How about minus 1? So, right here, right here, minus 1. We'll, we'll check that value right there. So, that's in, in, in here, a minus 1 times 20. A minus 1 times 20 is minus. All right. Bam, just like that. A minus 1 in here is a positive 3. <laughs> and then that's a negative 5. A negative and a negative and a positive is... A, uh, wait for it, plus, sure. Now, we're checking something in here. How about a uh, one? Let's check one. We're not checking those because those are critical values. All right, so we're checking something in there. What's in there? One. So I put a one in here. Oh, look at that. You're now positive because one times 20 is positive 20. I put a one in here. That's a five. Look at that. That's a five. And then I put a one in here and then that's a negative three. So that's still negative. So then I a positive, a positive, and a negative, that's negative in this interval. Okay, almost done. Keep with me. This, bigger than four, talk about five, maybe ten. So we check, let's check five, check five, check, 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 five. So we put five in here, and five times 20 is positive. Not even actually worried about its retail value. Five plus four is positive. Uh-huh, and five minus four is positive. Okay, positive, 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 positive. All right, so now what were we looking for? We were looking for where this was less than zero, where this was less than zero, where this was less than zero, where this is less than zero, where this is less than zero. Where is this? <sighs> less than or equal to zero? Well, those are the negative values. This value and this value. But now, 
What's that mean? That means we're looking in an implementation about what that's gonna look like. That's gonna be all of this stuff. Minus four, got that D. It's a round D. Uh huh. Zero doesn't have the D. It's a squarey. It's a square. That means it's included. Why? Because you can never divide by zero. You can never divide by zero. You can never divide by zero. So if we're going and we're looking at there, well, is that it? No. Is that it? Yes. It's a zero of the numerator. Zeros of the numerator, fine. Zeros of the denominator, not fine. Because you can never divide by zero. And yeah, that's why that one is also round. So now I found my solution in interval notation is minus infinity because it's an ordered interval. Lowest leftist, highest rightist, minus four, sure. It's round on both sides. You can never include infinity. Oh, so sad. And then that's included, uh, onion it up with the square on zero all the way to four, sure. And then it's round on four. And then what? Flower. I don't know. What is this? Why is there a cat in this video? People like cat videos. Box and flower.